children. I am here to explain a new method which will be used in this chapter, chapter 1, the fish tail. And the name of this method is unitary method. You will be required to use this method in some of the story sums given in the book of chapter 1. Now what is unitary method? Beta, this word unitary is derived from the term unit. And unit means one or simple. Okay, what does unit mean? Unit means one or simple. So what do we do in this method? In this method, we first find the value of one unit from the given information. We first find the value of one unit. And after we get the value of one unit, with that we find the value of required number of units. Okay. Now, when writing the statements in this question, always remember that you frame the statements in such a way that the information you are supposed to find should come towards the right side of equal to mark. Now, whatever I have explained would be more clear with the help of this example. Now, let's read this question. Remember, you are not required to copy down this question anywhere in any of the notebooks. This is simply to bring more clarity for understanding this concept. Okay. A shopkeeper purchased 12 toy trains for rupees. 1752. What is the cost of seven, seven such toy trains? Now, the given information is for 12 toy trains and they are asking for seven toy trains. Let's see how we are going to do this question. Observe carefully. You all remember, whenever we are writing the answer of a story sum, we first write the given information. And what we know? Cost of 12 toy trains. And we need to find the cost of 7 such toy trains. So I am going to frame the statement in such a way that the cost comes towards the right side of the equal to mark. So I will write like this. Cost of 12 toy trains. Now just observe everyone. This cost has come towards the right side of equal to mark. Like this. Okay. Now with the information that I have as I told you we will first find the cost of one unit or we can say one toy train. So children, cost of one toy train is going to be more or less if the cost of 12 is 1752, cost of one toy train will be less. And when we expect the answer in less, what do we do? We divide. So, I am going to divide 1752 with 12. And let's see what answer do we get. I am showing the working here. So, let's divide 1752 with 12. Now, 12 ones are 12. If I subtract 12 from 17, I am left with 5. I bring down this next digit and it becomes 55. We don't get 55 in the table of 12. So which number is exactly less than this in the table of 12? 12 fours are 48. And if I subtract 48 from 55, I will be left with 7. How did I do this? Now, we cannot subtract 8 from 5, so I borrowed 1 from here. So this became 4 and this is 15. 15 minus 8 is 7 and 4 minus 4 is 0. Now I bring down the last digit of this number, which is 2. Now I have 72. And 12 6s are 
72. So, the cost of one toy train is equal to rupees 146. Now, what are we supposed to find after this? Now, we know the cost of one toy train. We need to find the cost of required number of toy trains here. And the required number is 7. So, let me rub this working. But when you uh, uh, show the working in your answer, no, let it be there. Don't erase it. I am erasing because I am not left with space. Okay. So, cost of 7 toy trains will be more than the cost of 1. And when we expect the answer in more, we multiply. So, 146 will be multiplied with the required number and the required number is 7. Can I do the multiplication from here itself? As I know the table of 7 and you also know the table of 7. So, let's learn and let's do it this way. 7, 6 are 42, 2 I write, 4 I carry, 7, 4 are 28, 28 plus 4 is 32, 2 I write and 3 I carry. Now 7 ones are 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10. So I have the answer. Cost of 7 toy trains is rupees 1022. If you don't know how to do it this way, multiply this way, then you can do it by using column method also. Sorry, the, the cost of 1 toy train is 146. So, cost of 7, you can find like this. 7, 6 are 42. 4, you carry. 7, 4 are 28. Plus 4 is 32. 3, you carry. And 7, 1 is 7. Plus 3 is 10. So, we have got the answer as 1022. I hope you all have understood. Again, let's recapitulate. What have I told you in this method? First is, what is unitary method? What do we do in this method, beta? We first find the value of one unit. Then with this value, we find the value of required number of units. And we finally reach the answer. Beta, when you frame the statements, remember to frame them in such a way so that the information we are required to find should come towards the right side of equal to mark. Thank you.